Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. We're built for this. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha Conquer Outdoors. Driving a side-by-side -side is freeing. It lets you go to a happy place and forget about the world's worries. Focus on the next turn, the next slide, the next obstacle. To use the right pedal as pure throttle therapy and to burn the day's concerns like the 91 octane exhaust gas is coming out of the pipe. So light those cylinder fires, spin them tires, and get filthy dirty. Because today, it's Maverick Sport XMR test ride time. And this rig is way too clean for my liking. The progression of Can-Am side-by-side -side lineup has been the fastest of any manufacturer in the industry. I mean, they went from just a couple models to having irons in every single class fire in just a few short years. And their products, they're pretty incredible. Today's focus is the Maverick Sport XMR. While we would typically be in nothing but dirt and mud, Mother Nature sent us an early winter, so we decided to paint the snow with our brand new Sport XMR. It was a surprise release just a few short months ago, and I don't think a progression that we expected to see. With the big brother, the Turbo R XMR, already in the market, most folks expected that that was that. But Can-Am is playing the big picture game and looking to offer a wider range of buyers a broader offering of products. And let's face it, not everyone needs or wants the Turbo R, but there's a lot of folks who do want a purpose-built mud-running side-by-side. And the Maverick Sport XMR gives them just that, at a significantly lower price tag than the bigger Turbo. Obviously, there's a place for the Turbo XMR. I'm not knocking it, but what I am saying is that this 1000 XMR comes with a bunch of great options, exceptionally good power, and XMR-specific features that you're gonna love. And let's talk about power first. The 1000R Rotax motor is no slouch and uses 100 standard horsepower to spin the 30-inch ITP cryptid tires in any situation. While the non-R1000 motor is acceptable at 75 horsepower, the 1000R is the right choice, and the only choice when you spec the XMR in a Maverick Sport. Throttle response is instant, power delivery is smooth and progressive from engagement right through to max RPM. And the ITC Intelligent Throttle Control Drive-By Wire System is the most refined that we've ever felt from Can-Am. You have your sport setting that'll offer full power and instant throttle response, just like a cable throttle body, and eco mode that will soften throttle input or more specifically, smooth out jumpy taps of the throttle to make for a smoother ride. It'll also limit acceleration and maximize fuel consumption to get you further, or more importantly, get you back out when you played a little bit too long and need to conserve some fuel. So let's talk about the real meat of this buggy, the 1000R motor. I mean, how's it deliver the power? How's it spin the 30-inch cryptids? And how are we gonna lock up these front tires? Also, what's that extra rocker switch on the dash for? The Sport XMR comes with the Smart Lock front diff standard, and the beautiful new 7.6 inch digital display does the best job that I've seen from Can-Am of letting you know what mode you're in. The drive modes are two x four with the rear diff locked. Then we have four x four where the Smart Lock will detect wheel slippage and lock and unlock as needed to ensure that you get the best traction and the least amount of negative feedback. Now pressing the front diff lock rocker will take you to the third setting, and that locks up the front differential to a true locked front end for ultimate traction. Now let's take a step to our right and look at the mud and trail button. While some folks think this is another ITC throttle setting, it is not. This toggle is for the smart lock differential settings. I know it's a lot to handle, but stick with me, stay in your seat, and we'll be right back after the commercial break with more of the 2019 Maverick Sport XMR 1000R. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. A unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Power Sports, race-inspired performance. Welcome back. Before the break, we were discussing all the different toggle switch settings and modes for both ITC as well as Smart Lock. So let's jump right back in.
Trail mode for the Smart Lock uses wheel speed sensors on each wheel to compare wheel speed and tell the XMR's brain if there's front end slippage of either wheel. If it senses slippage, it'll then progressively lock the front end, which will allow for the steering effort to slowly increase and the power steering to ramp up power to match the lock parameters, delivering a seamless, smooth steering effort that you won't even notice and a locked front end where you need it. Steering angles also play a part with a steering sensor, allowing the front end lock to disengage in hard cornering if there is no slippage to make for easier steering. The mud mode has a whole bunch of built-in knowledge of thick, muddy, wet, and gnarly terrain, and also compares wheel slippage and engine torque to identify the right time to fully lock and keep lock the front end. SmartLock was designed with team industries who really know their stuff about power sports drivelines. But at the end of the day, you're here to see if this stuff really works, and I'm here to tell you the truth. And the bottom line is undeniable. Smart Lock is a winner. When you want it fully locked, you toggle the diff lock switch and it's undeniably locked full time. When you want easier drivability, you leave it in four wheel drive and let the sophisticated sensors and computer calculate when and where you need the diff locked up. In the mud, I like to run the diff fully locked. Low range gives us really excellent wheel speed and the insurance that the belt isn't getting stressed too much. No matter the depth or thickness of the mud, we didn't find the XMR to struggle with wheel spin. Sure, we got stuck a few times, but when you don't know what's down there, you can get high centered. The increased ground clearance at 15 inches helps a lot in getting us through all that rutted out soggy bottom of most holes, and the high arched front and rear lower A arms really do give us a clear shot through most terrain without getting hung up. Now the cryptids sit at nine inches wide up front and 11 inches wide in the rear, and they're mounted to a really nice looking 14 inch black and silver rim but is 30 inches enough when it comes to the Sport XMR? I guess that the answer is both yes and no. With bigger tires and deeper lugs, will it go further? Well, yeah, for sure it will, but you'll also suffer with needing to lower the gearing to accommodate, sacrificing top speed, and possibly the most important, suffering from the on-trail harshness and lack of grip on dry terrain when you're out trail riding to get to the mud. It's my belief that the Maverick Sport XMR isn't just a one-trick pony not just for the mud, but a very capable on-trail cruiser as well, offering a comfortable and sporty ride with the focus on getting through just about any mud hole that you may find in your path. There's always the Turbo R with larger tires, deeper lugs, and more power should you want to focus on nothing but mud. However, I feel that this Sport XMR is almost like a crossover side-by-side, -side, offering an exceptional compromise of on-trail fun and deep churn in mud. I've talked about comfort a lot, and I don't just mean the Fox Podium QS3 Reservoir shocks. When I talk about comfort with a Maverick, I'm talking about the ErgoLock interior as well. And let me tell you, this ErgoLock interior is probably the most comfortable interior in a side-by-side -side that I have ever sat in. Can-Am took a lot of time and effort to design the interior with the driver in mind, from ergonomically correct seat angles and foam thickness the proper positioning of footrests and even arching the smooth interior finished doors to give you added shoulder room and less restrictions. While many folks just look at specs and horsepower or tire sizes, the place that you contact the side-by-side -side most is right here in the interior and should be somewhere you take a long, hard look at. I fit in this thing like it was custom built for me, and it lets me focus on hitting the next mud hole and not feeling cramped or uncomfortable. Can-Am offers a wide variety of side-by-sides for a wide variety of riding styles. But the truth is, the 2019 Maverick Sport XMR may be my favorite yet, offering a great mix of on-trail sporty performance with swamp bottom digging, mud lug spinning, mud riding fun. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Shock Strap, Start Strapped, Stay Strapped. 2018 was an exciting year for Textron Off-Road. The Wildcat XX was huge news and it definitely didn't disappoint. The Prowler Pro was an important step into the utility side-by-side -side market and of course, the Havoc X was quite possibly the most surprising side-by-side -side of the season. The important news today though is that Textron is not backing down in 2019. The momentum they built in 2018 is being carried forward with some new models and some important updates. 
The Textron Off-Road 2019 product lineup hits all the important notes in the industry from refreshed youth models to entry-level ATVs all the way up to the most exciting pure sport classes. Of course, there's no question the most exciting new Textron model in 2018 was the Wildcat XX. Our review of that vehicle showed it left very little to be desired. But Textron wasn't content to just build the same old XX for another season and wanted to offer customers something just a little bit more exciting, which manifested itself in the form of the Wildcat XX Limited. The Limited is, underneath it all, a standard Wildcat Double X. But for 2019, it gets five more horsepower, now bumped up to 130, and a whole list of factory installed upgrades. A half windshield, the mini shade top, front and rear bumpers, and a Bluetooth sound system come standard, and the 30-inch CST Behemoth tires get bumped up to 31-inch versions. A jet black color scheme rounds out the limited package, and at the end of the day, yes, this is just a Wildcat XX with a bunch of extras, but you're not gonna hear any complaints from me. This vehicle is absolutely class leading. Extras just make it better. The second piece of important news from Textron Off-Road in 2019 is the release of the Prowler Pro Crew XT. The Prowler Pro lineup was a huge success in 2018 and gave Textron Off-Road buyers a unit that was legitimate competition for other serious utility vehicles. The Crew was an obvious next step when you consider the success other brands have had with their six-seat utility models. The Crew XT really does check all the right boxes with an 812cc triple that makes 50 horsepower, CVT transmission, selectable 4x4 with a locking rear diff, 10 inches of wheel travel, 27 inch tires on 14 inch aluminum wheels, 2,000 pound towing with a 2 inch receiver and an 18 cubic foot tilting cargo box with a 1,000 pound carrying capacity. What really sets all Prowler Pro models apart from their competition though is how quiet they are. Now at first, this might seem like a weird feature, but if you really stop and think about it, a lot of utility vehicles are used in places where sound and noise are a consideration. Whether it's for hunting, working around your yard, or on a job site, a quiet vehicle can be a huge benefit. Textron's 2019 new model lineup includes a whole bunch of interesting vehicles, but there's only time to go over a few of them here. And the third and final vehicle I wanna cover is the Altera 570. Starting at just $67.99, this new model is based on the full-size Altera platform, so unlike its 500cc counterpart, it is not a mid-sized ATV. The engine is strong and reliable, and the whole vehicle looks like it's been built to be tough and capable. There are three 570 models to choose from, all of which feature CVT transmissions, 10 inches of wheel travel from front and rear AA arms, 11 inches of ground clearance, 1,050 pound towing capacity, and tough steel racks with 100 pounds capacity up front and 200 pounds in the rear. A rear-mounted 1.44-gallon under-rack water-resistant storage compartment rounds out the base feature standard on all models. The base model includes steel wheels and Textron's rapid traction system shiftable 4x4. When you bump up to the EPS model, you obviously get electronic power steering included. And when you move to the XT, you get machined aluminum wheels and the upgraded EL4 electronic locking 4x4 system. The Altera 570 lineup gives up nothing to its competition in terms of features, performance, and value. A full review of Textron's Altera 570 XT is coming up on a future episode of Dirt Tracks TV, so make sure you stay tuned for that. For 2019, Textron Off-Road is continuing to push their lineup forward, and if any of the rumors we've heard are true, this is just the beginning. There's lots more exciting stuff slated for release in the coming months. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Argo. Go anywhere. Yamaha's Grizzly ATV has quite legitimately become an iconic off-road vehicle. Its standard list of features, its proven reliability, and its enduring performance have taken the Grizzly to a lofty level of respect and recognition. Consider the new 2019 Grizzly 700 EPS SE. This year's iteration of the Grizz includes, among other important features, what we would call a complete cold weather package, including snowmobile style heated grips, heated thumb throttle, and a heated seat. An easy to remove polycarbonate windshield is standard, as is a plow ready 2,500 pound Pro Vantage worn winch. 27 inch Maxxis Zilla mud meets play well to snow navigation, as does the Grizzly's familiar 11.5 inches of ground clearance. Motivation comes from a four valve, single cylinder overhead cam 686 EFI four stroke, which has proven its worth in the Viking side-by-side -side lineup. 
Obviously, the Grizz EPS comes with the Big Wise speed sensitive adaptive power steering, a feature cold weather riding demands. Our slant on this test ride is cold weather capability. And wouldn't you know it, our top secret Dirt Tracks World Headquarters has been experiencing a very early and snowy start to winter. For those who may not know, Yamaha is a player in the snowmobile business, marketing a number of capable and well-accepted models, not the least of which is a thunderous 180 horsepower turbocharged and intercooled model, which is not surprisingly the benchmark for all-out top speed and acceleration in the snowmobile industry. What does this have to do with the Grizzly? We think Yamaha's snowmobile savvy provides great insight into what cold weather off-road riders require, or in some cases, demand. The new Grizzly incorporates factory installed accessories other OEMs would consider to be dealer installed or consumer installed. The truth of the matter is cold weather pilots demand extreme reliability from their rides and their accessories. Frankly, who in the ATV biz offers better reliability than Yamaha? If you're 20 miles from home in a roaring blizzard, there's no substitute for reliability. Cold weather reliability includes the heated amenities I've described, but equally as important is unflinching performance from a proven engine and a CVT transmission that's so reliable, most people don't even realize there's a CVT drive belt behind Yamaha's Ultramatic transmission cover. It's been our experience here at Dirt Tracks, because our sister show, Snow Tracks Television, is about all things snowmobile, that cold and snow can bring out the worst in off-road vehicles. That means frozen brakes, snow-clogged intakes, ice jam tie rods, and even frozen fuel lines. Add in the inclusion of a front-mounted snowplow and the need for a well-thought-out, winterized ATV is something you'll come to value in your next ATV purchase. From our perspective, Yamaha's winter-centric knowledge has been applied to just about every area of the new Grizz SE. A little known fact in the ATV industry is just how many owners equip their rides with snow plows. Yamaha offers a quick on kit snow plow for the Grizz 700 SE. You'll be shocked at how much snow you can move with this thing. Made from sturdy 12 gauge steel and with a 17 and 3 quarter inch blade height, the Warren Pro Vantage 54 inch plow utilizes the factory installed Pro Vantage winch and a slick mechanical system allowing the operator to hook up and release the plow in just seconds. Because the Pro Vantage is quick coupling, it means you don't have to remove the bracketry at the end of the winter season. And due to its streamlined design, it won't hinder ground clearance or cause interference. Should you run tracks on your Grizzly, an optional extension is available, and because this plow was designed in conjunction with both Yamaha and Warren, it can be swapped to other Yamaha ATVs with just a new mount. It's strong, simple, and easy to use, and in the dead of winter at minus 30, no one wants to be out plowing longer than they have to be. Although we haven't talked much about the Grizzly's ride and handling so far in this test ride, we should make it clear, this version of the Grizz delivers Yamaha's best ride and handling to date. Having said this, one must consider the ride quality of competitive ATVs. The Grizz has just over seven inches of wheel movement up front and slightly more than nine inches out back. While the Grizzly rides respectably, it could use more wheel travel. While we're talking about more, I should mention that the Grizzly is down on displacement compared to other models in this segment, and as a result, it's down on power. It's time for Yamaha to insert a twin-cylinder engine in the Grizzly. One thing Yamaha does not need to mess with is the super high-quality feel and operation of the Grizzly. From front to back, this unit exudes, actually drips, build quality and finish. Moreover, the function of the Grizzly in everyday use is exceptional, offering silky shifting from both the Ultramatic CVT and the sub-transmission. The four-wheel drive electronic switchgear works flawlessly, providing two-wheel drive, four-by-four differential drive, and full four-wheel drive locked operation. As I've stated earlier, the Grizzly comes ready, tested, and proven capable for full-on winter operation. It will also provide great utility performance year-round. If you're an ATVer who uses the ride for cold weather operation, 
you need to check out the 2019 Yamaha Grizzly EPS LE700 and experience its seamless integration of cold weather operation with year-round fun and functionality. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Can-Am, we're built for this. And by Textron Off-Road, power, performance, and precision engineering. Thanks for watching Dirt Tracks Television. For more great content, click on one of the links on the screen and make sure to tune back every day for fresh new content in season on Dirt Tracks TV.